Hey guys, it's me again, and welcome back to the eighth episode of my Ask series of C of series nine, or also known as episode one hundred and forty of my Ask series. I'm sorry, I just mixed it around a bit. It's just it's a bit too late to and do it now. So yeah. So without further ado, let's get on with the questions that you asked me in the previous video. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's just my Hoover's on in my bedroom, so just ignore it. Anyways, let's get on with the questions, starting with Isles of Foreign Rails. And he says, I'm not really going to have to change. I'm, I'm really going to have to change my account name someday. And he has four questions for me. And the first one is, um, what are your ex except what are your exceptions for Knuckles, the Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off series from Paramount? Well, by looking at it, I think it's gonna be. I think at the end of the series, there might be a little brief intro of Sonic the Hedgehog three. I don't know, but. We'll find out at the beginning, at the end of the series. Two, what type of branded t-shirts, slippers, and socks of any franchise do you get at Pennies in Ar Primark in Ireland? Well, I don't really get any slippers by any means, but I do get, I sometimes get shirts and socks from other franchises like... Mainly when I go to um, Pennies, I get socks from Spongebob, The Simpsons, Rick and Morty, and yeah, and I also get t-shirts from other, and I also got a t-shirt, uh, and, I, and I also get t-shirts from uh, Marvel as well, and I also got a Tom and Jerry one one time, which was pretty cool. So I quite like pennies a lot because they sell shirts from uh, TV shows, which that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get any um, Family Guy um, footwear or clothes yet, but maybe someday I will. I don't know about Thomas, but yeah. Free, are you a non-alcoholic? I mean, I mean, I'm not. Yes, I am a not. Well, I'm not really a non-alcoholic, but I do drink um, beers sometimes. Like, the main beers I drink are um, Shandy's and uh, Blue Wicked. Like, those are the only ones that I drink. Like, I don't drink them every day. I only drink them on um, occasions, you know, like parties and stuff or, uh, ho or holidays. Yeah, that's when I usually um, drink alcohol. And four, <clears throat> did you hear that Coyote and Angman is going to be can is going to be shelved, cancelled, and deleted? No, I didn't. And before I add more questions, they they rejected every single offer, all because they wanted seventy five to eighty million dollars more for this film. And even refused to accept a claim from a film festival. If nothing is done about the government, nobody will ever go back to Warner to working with Warner Bros. permanently. Okay. First, first there's Gan Ganicide on present. Palestine, Palestine, sorry, and cap capitalism towards creative input. It's really disgusting, and and I mean, and I meant by their, and I meant by their animation studio, knowing that five other films are likely planned, but more write-offs create tanking, and create tanking a chart. Okay. Yeah, I've had I did hear hear that Warner Bros is having some trouble with animating some of their newer products now. 
So, yeah. And the next question is from Channel 4 and BBC One. Fan 2006. And he asks, Do you hate Puss in Boots, the knockoff version that came out in 2009? I don't really care for that, to be honest. I mean, I do have it on DVD, but I'm not really interested, so... There might be a possibility I might get rid of it soon, but yeah. <clears throat> Next question is from Austin Marcus Robert Miller, and he asks, One, do you hate Inside Out Fan 2001? Yes, I, yes, I do, because he hates a lot of good franchises, and he gives out the stupidest opinions in the world. Like, for example, he hates Toy Story, like... Come on, dude. Like, I understand it's his opinion. Like, he has the right not to like... Like, he doesn't have to like it if he doesn't want to. But just to talk trash about it on the internet is just an understatement. And he hates a lot of good stuff and... Likes quite a lot of bad things. Like, for example, he re- he cheered when James Bond died in um, No Time to Die. Like... Dude, that, that's messed up. Like, I don't care if it's a character. Like, you don't cheer for someone's death. Like, if it's an actor or something. Like, like come the fuck on, bro. Sorry, um, two. What's your worst movie? Obviously, the Emoji movie. Three. Who's your favorite Kung Fu Panda villain? Shang- Shanghai... Or Shanghai, which is the tiger's name. And I did hear he's coming back. It's Tai Long, sorry. And he's coming back for the fourth movie, as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> Four, what's your opinion on The Dark Knight 2008? Good Transformers film. And, sorry. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying... Um, Five, why do you hate Thomas and Friends Missy Island Rescue? So many reasons why I hate it, but I'll go through the more important ones. The writing is bad. The characters are absolute idiots. And Thomas is probably... And the Logging Locos are just the most annoying things out of the film. And the story doesn't make any sense. I mean, it does. Like, they're building a search and rescue center, which... That's not a problem, but the whole story itself is just a mess. But that's a story for another day. <clears throat> CJ the Bob's Burgers movie fan 2008 asks, One, what's your opinion on Spirit un- Untamed? Spirit Untamed. Um, haven't really seen it. Um, two... What's your opinion on Luigi Martimus Gaming? In my mind, an awful user. Uh, I don't really care for him that much. Three. Do you think Stuart, Bob, Kevin, Otto, and Mel will return in Despicable Me 4? Um, probably not, but I think Mel will, will because he was in Despicable Me 3, so... It could be a possibility that Mel would return. And for the other four, despite being, like, the main mascots for the Despicable Me franchise, especially Bob, like, it's very surprising that they haven't appeared in the Despicable Me films. Well, maybe they have, but most of the minions just blend in together, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Four, what's your opinion on the bad guys? Oh, it's a really good movie. Like, it's amazing. Probably the best Dreamworks film that we've had for quite a while. And they're also working on a sequel as well, which I think it deserves a sequel. Like, the franchise deserves to be a well-developed franchise, you know? Like, there's so much potential in the characters that the bad guys might be the new goal for Dreamworks. 
and could be one of their new popular franchises along with Trolls, Shrek, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda and many more. And five, do you have any Simpsons DVDs? Yes, I do. Next questions are from a Smith and he asks, one, do you have Pingu Ice Cabades on DVD? Yes, I do. Do I? What's, two, what's your opinion on the Super Mario Bros. movie? Probably the best movie of all time. And I do mean it when I say it. Like, I haven't seen a movie this great, this well executed and so beloved by pretty much everyone. I mean, not everybody loves the movie, but not one hundred, but nearly a hundred percent of people on this planet love the movie to bits, myself included. And the movie does deserve a sequel. Like, I haven't seen an animated movie gross up that high since Frozen. Like, it's probably the best animated movie that we've had in a long, long time. And it's definitely on my tier list for sure. Tree, do you have Bob the Builder a Christmas to Remember on DVD? Yes, I do. And four, do you have Thomas and Friends Journey Beyond Sodor on DVD? Yes, I do. Next questions are from Seal Saul, the movie nerd. And he asks, Juan, what's your opinion on fish and chips? Uh, they're a good meal and... They're a great di- that's a it's a great dinner to um have. And speaking of fish and chips, I actually had it for my um tea tonight, so I think it's a perfect time to um answer that question. And I also had it with um peas and the uh, corn. So yeah. Two, what's your most anticipated mo- film of this year? Oh that's a good question. Um if I have to pick a top two, then probably Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which I know that's coming out in um, December, but it's still going to be great, despite the release day and all. And maybe hmm, Inside Out 2. And Tree, what's your favorite animal? Um, Probably cats. Chili F asks, one, what's your opinion on All Dogs Go to Heaven? Uh, it's a great, it's a classic. Um, two, what's your opinion on Manny from Ice Age? He's a great character. Um, three, what's your opinion on Bill Murray? He's a great actor. Um, four, what's your opinion on the Railway Series book, Branchline Engines? Uh, it's a great book, and... It's also a great introduction to him, Daisy. And coincidentally, what I've heard that this book was released on the same day that um, Colin McFarlane was born. Like, if you don't know who he is, then he's he's basically an actor who voices in um, media and stuff. Like, for example, he voices um, PC Malcolm in um, Farm and Sam and... He also played um, Beresford and Bulgy in the last few seasons of Thomas and Friends. And he was also um, J.J. and Skip in um, the original Bob the Builder. And he was also Harrison in Chuggington. And he voiced um, Sparky in um, Mike the Knight. So yeah, he's been in a lot of other stuff. But he was also in Dennis the Menace. And a lover and, and and a few of her Beano um comics that were adapted into TV, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, <clears throat> and five and last and five last but not least, what's your opinion on Super Mario Sunshine? Probably the best GameCube game of all time, if not the best um. 3D Mario platform game, along with um, Super Mario Odyssey. So yeah, and sorry, um, let me check. Yeah, I did read out everyone's questions. And last but not least, we have one question from Samuel's Movie Corner. And he asks, 
What's your opinion on Postman Pat the movie? Sorry. As I was saying, um, what's my opinion on Postman Pat the movie? Um, re-looking at it now, I'm starting to, um, appreciate it a lot more. Like, I kind of feel a bit bad for him hating it. Like, it's not perfect by any means, and it does still have issues, but the way it translated into CGI is actually really good. Like, they didn't redesign the characters, and pre and everything from the original show is pretty much the same for the most part. So, the movie's not 100% bad. It's like 50% good and 50% bad. So, it's... um. A combination of uh, both, if you will. So, yeah. All right. So, that concludes another episode of my um, Ask series. So, yeah. So, that's all for now. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon. And this is me, signing off.